crafters. It is a Christmas card for today's offering and a really sparkly beautiful one at that. Let me show you the die we're going to be using to create this card. It's our new Let It Snow die. Really love that. And then we're also going to be using a couple other items here. I've got the Celtic flower embossing folder and a couple of Spellbinder dies. I have the Snowflake Pendant 2012 and the Creative Flake 5. So let's move these out of the way. And I think I'll start by cutting the Let It Snow and you can see how pretty it is. So I'm going to put that onto a piece of cobalt blue card, tape it into place with some removable tape. And let's get our cutting plate. Pop that on there. And there's quite a bit of detail to this one. So let's just see if one pass will do it. Sometimes you may have to turn it and pass it through again, but let's just see what happens. I think that's cut all the little bits and bobs there. I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll give it a quick emboss, bring out the detail. So I'm going to change out, put on the tan mat, and cover it with the pink embossing plate. Put it back through the grand caliper. There we go. Let me move these out of the way. And take it out of my die. And tape it. <laughs> And it looks like it is cut beautifully. Just got to pop out the little bits here. You can see that they will pop out quite easily. They're a little bit um, swirly in parts, so you don't want to get them caught. Let's see that one. Anyways, well, you can see it coming around. Isn't that gorgeous? Just love this one. In fact, I have one already cut, so let me show it to you in its real beauty. Isn't that pretty? So we're going to go ahead and put that together, but I think I'll do my embossing first. So to, to do my background, I'm going to use the Celtic Flower embossing folder. Now this folder is incredibly detailed, so I always recommend use your card, give it a light spritz of water, and if you've done any stamping or inking, then spritz the back of it. Pop it into your folder and the base plate, the folder, and then your raspberry plate are the, um, the sandwich needed for the Grand Caliber and run it through. There we go. And just give it a quick lift. Look at all the detail to that. It's really got kind of an icicle look to it, which I love. Even though it's not necessarily a Christmas design, it lends itself really nicely to that. So I think what I'll do is go ahead and place that onto our backing sheet that I've got ready with some Cosmic Shimmer glue. There we go. I've already matted and layered some pieces here with some coconut white and some blue card. Put that on there nice and straight. And we will take our die cut and I'm going to, let's use this one, we've already popped the pieces out. I'm going to glue this onto my white card and I'm just gonna put some bits on the uh, wording mostly, it's the larger pieces in there. Hit a couple of these snowflake so it holds it down nicely. That should probably do the job. Oops. Okay. Just going to center it right in the middle of that piece of white card that I've already cut. Okay. And what I'm going to do is I've cut a little piece of double-sided sticky adhesive. I'm going to cover all of this now. Peel the backing off. It's always the hardest part, just getting it started. There we go. 
and I'm going to have to trim the excess off. You want to give it a nice burnish and get it right down into those places around the die cut though. Peel it off our mat. And you can cut it either with scissors or with a, um, a, um, a paper cutter. I'm just going to trim the edge with the scissors here. I think it'll be quicker. And use the card as your edge for that. There we go. All the way down. I've got a little bit of a rounded corner here, so let me take that and get this one I missed here. There we go. Take this and put it in my rubbish bin. So bring over a piece of copy paper to put underneath me and my ice snow because that's the perfect accompaniment for this because you've got that really, really lovely glitter look to it. I peeled my backing off. Oops. Mm -hmm. Always have to catch that edge. Just takes a second there. Okay. Tip that over it. Move it around. So it coats all of it. Really gives it a nice sparkly look to it. Burnish it in really nicely, taking off the excess. And let's tip the back, tip the um, excess back into our jar. There. Okay. So now I've got a piece of backing card that I've done with a little bit of blue matting. So I'm going to go ahead and glue this into place. Let me just lean into the shot a little bit so I can see if I'm nice and straight there. Looks okay. And I've got some mounting foam, so I'm going to mount it up for a little bit of dimension in the middle of the card. There we go. And I've gone ahead and I've cut some of the uh, Spellbinders snowflakes because they're just so pretty. I've added a little bit of extra mounting foam, and I think we'll put this one down in the corner. There. Got a couple here. I've put some mounting foam on the back for a little bit more dimension catching just the top edge there. And I've done one more smaller one and I'm actually going to tuck that underneath with some glue and I've cut the edge off because I just want it to lay just like that. And to add a little bit extra something, I've got some of these pearl uh, snowflakes and we are just going to peel them off of their acetate backing and I'm going to add them around just to give a little bit different texture to the background. Gently peel them off of the acetate. Put one down here. Let's put that, let's put that right about there. And I've got one more here. I'll put up in this corner. Ah, looks absolutely lovely there. Now you could finish this off with a couple of flat back pearls in the corner, but that is one stunning Christmas card. I think you'll agree. And anybody would love to receive that, I'm sure.